Hey everyone, Michael for OK Let Me Review It. So, uh, today's product is Elect Elect City Pulse Oximeter. And what this is, is um, if you've been to the doctors recently, it's one of those little devices that clamp over your finger and read out your pulse and your um, heart rate and just tells how much, well, I guess your pulse and your heart rate are the same thing, aren't they? <laughs> but um, it just tells you the oxygen level and how fast your heart is beating. Um, these are really great things to have around your house, especially if you are um, into any kind of sports or athleticism and stuff like that, and you just want to keep really good record of um, what's going on with your heart. It's also really good if you're uh, monitoring your blood pressure and stuff like that. So, um, this, like I said, came from E-Tech City, and I'm not sure if I said that or not, but anyways, it's really cool little dude, so let's get into the review of it, shall we? Okay, so opening up the box here, we have... This little lanyard right here, which is nice. Um, and then this really nice, well put together pouch. And it looks like um, the warranty information down there and um, just basically how to use it. So let's get this all opened up. Oops. Has a little plastic protector sheath on there. So, um, Here's the basic layout of it, and for those of you who don't know, you stick your finger in here and all that other stuff, and um, it reads out up here. It takes two AAA batteries, which is really nice. Um, these are the generic ones that came with it. So um, I've seen some of these where you have had to put those um, big button watch batteries inside there or whatever. but. Um, this one just takes two triple A's so to get started you just push the button and then you stick your finger in and then you wait for it to start reading And as you can see, mine is 93 over 95. So I have 94%, well it just jumped up to 94, so 94% oxygen, 95% oxygen, and my heart rate is about 98 beats per minute. And then just Pushing this button here gives you different diagnostical readouts, so you can see that my blood pressure or my heart is beating pretty fast right now, and this is resting at 100 beats per, about 100 beats per minute, so yeah. But before doing this, I was out walking around checking the mail and everything, and then I came right in and sat down and did this tutorial video, or this review video. Um, and if you can see that red light right there, that's actually reading the pulse and the, all the other vitals that are going on with it. Um, I think this one, if you do a long press of the button, yeah, it goes into a setup mode and you really can't see that too well, can you? Well, I'm getting it as best as I can, but you have um, your setup diagnostic modes here. You can turn on, um, turn on or off the sounds or whatever else, and then you just uh, long press to exit, or I'm sorry, short press, go down to exit, and then long press, and then you're back. And then you just um, 
when you're done with it, stick it back in the thing and it'll automatically shut off after a moment of inactivity. And so, there you go. After moments of inactivity, it shuts itself off. Has this really cool little um, case. You can put your lanyard here so you can wear it around your neck, throw it through your belt loop or whatever else. Um, this is a professional medical grade um, quality. So it's like what you would see in your doctor's office. <coughs> um, the only thing that I really don't care for about the unit is that there is no dedicated on and off switch. You just have to kind of let it go on its own. Uh, but above and beyond that, you know, everything else about it is really nice. It's compact, very comfortable feeling. Um, does what it needs to do. So, yeah. If you want to run out and grab one of these, uh, you can expect to pay anywhere between $15 and $50 for it. Um, the SeaTech City one, I think, runs right around $30. With shipping and handling, it's a little bit more, but if you're an Amazon Prime member, then you can get it shipped to you for free. Um, I received mine for giving a honest review, and so here's my honest review of it. Um, I like it, just wish that it had a dedicated on-off switch. Above and beyond that, it does really great work, and I love everything about it. The little case, everything. So, hope this product review has helped. If you have any other additional questions, comments, or concerns, please let me know. Uh, shoot me an email at um, okayletmereviewit at gmail.com. If you would like for me to test a product for you, please um, get a hold of me through that email address, or um, you can reach out to me on the blog. The blog is okayletmereviewit.blogspot, that's B-L-O-G-S-P-O-T dot com. And um, keep checking back, like and subscribe this video if you would please, and make sure, like I said, you, you check back. There's stuff posted on the website that's not posted on the YouTube channel. Um, the website is okayletmereviewit.blogspot.com. And um, there's going to be links below in the description, so thanks very much.